Hello and welcome to another episode of Rebel Rogue, where today I will be showing you how to paint frost weapons, such as the ones seen on Space Wolves or any other ice based army. Rebel Rogue. I will specifically be showing you how to paint a frost sword or a ice sword, depending on what army you are playing. I I think the humans in Kings of War, I think some of them might have icy weapons, or any army you really want to paint icy blades on. So, I have a Death Corps of Krieg officer here. I've just decided to use this because he's got a sword and he's, the, he's one of the only miniatures I can find who has a sword. Or that I have at the minute who has a sword. I think it'll look quite good on him. Again, we want to base coat the area of the sword, or the area you want to be icy or frosty, with Vallejo's Magic Blue. This gives a nice sort of mid-blue colour, which is quite a good base for the ice effect we will be putting on it. For this, I will be, for this task, I will be just using a Raphael 8404, size 1, but you can easily use something cheaper. I just don't use this very often, so felt like this was a good time to crack it out. Oh no, it's gone everywhere. Let me paint. Yeah, that's just me um, having a panic about paint on my white palette. Um, anyway. So, just painting on the blade, like so. And on the other side, like so. Next step, if you have something like, I don't know, runes written down your model, the next step would be to put a black ink on them. Put a black ink on them just to, or a black wash, just to pick out the runes, the runic symbols. But I am not going to do that, because I don't feel any need to on this particular sword. I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to move on to the next step. If you are using, going to use a black wash on your blade, then I would recommend leaving it to dry, leaving first the base coat to dry, and then leaving the wash to dry. And then you can move on to the next step. To create the look of ice or frost on our blade, we're going to dry brush it. This will work, I will tell you, this will work better either with a very small dry brush or with a bigger sword. For example, the Space Wolf blade I painted last week, probably painted last week, um, was quite was about twice as thick as this one, so it looked a lot better. This might not look quite as good, just a warning, so just take it with a bit of caution. We're going to be using Vallejo's Off-White for this, so I need to find it, put it on, so to dry brush, we are going to put it on a piece of cardboard, if I can find one, Here we are. a piece of cardboard, down like so, Here we are. and then it's simply a matter of Taking your brush, dipping it quickly in your water, drying it off, then taking it in like so, and just rubbing it, trying to get most of the paint off. For this, you do want to get quite a lot of the paint off, like so, and then we're just going to carefully brush it from the blade edge. So, to slowly build up, and you might want to press a bit harder, to slowly build up a an icy effect. Come on, focus. There we are. And then same on the other side. 
wipe off all the paint on your brush onto your cardboard. This sort of prevent I think this prevents it from becoming chalky, but I've never really had the problem with it being chalky. Then like so. Onto the edge. Then you can you can do a quick top of it, like so. And there you have your frost blade pretty much completed. If you wanted to, you could go across the top with a quick light dry brush, build up that frosty colour, frosty effect. And as you can see, it looks less like a power sword and slightly more frosty than you would find on, a, say, a Space Marine power sword, which is often two-toned, whereas this is just across the whole blade. So, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please make sure you hit that like button. If you've been enjoying the videos on this channel for quite a while, please make sure you subscribe if you never want to miss a video. We do videos, small technique videos, we do painting space marines, and then there's an ice cream van, isn't there? Of course there is. Always happens. Anyway, I'll see you for the next video, and there'll be a link to the Facebook in the description. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.